Here's a super easy way to create custom emojis. Um, like I said in the blog post, if you're building e-learning courses, you could use them as kind of a simple way to provide some positive negative feedback or, you know, bring a little bit of humor, lightheartedness uh, to some of the topics. Um, so let's go ahead and create one. So when you first open up the site, uh, you're going to get some emoji. I'll just refresh the page and you can see I just get some random um, emoji. Um, basically, you're going to see that you have your options here, face, eyes, and mouth, and so forth. And you can scroll down. You can Im even import pictures. So if you kind of have a starting image you want to start with, that uh, you can import that, bring it in. And then here you can see what makes up the emoji. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete everything. And we can create our own. So we'll start with a face. Uh, you can see there's a few options here. We'll just start with the standard uh, circle face here. And then you can see there's different types of eyes that you can add. Um, just depends on what you want to do. We'll just do standard and then we'll just do uh, neutral, right? So I might have an emoji that looks like this and then I would save this out as neutral and then maybe I want to create a positive emoji. So I'm going to go to the mouth over here. I'm going to delete that and then I might choose uh, a smiling face, right? And then I would save that as a positive version and then I might uh, come down here and choose kind of a negative and then save that as negative. And so then I quickly have these emojis that I can use. They'll all be the same size. So they're somewhat interchangeable if you're using them as state changes in your course. It's a lot of neat things you can do. Uh, one thing I'll point out here, let's go ahead and put some bolder objects on here. So let's say I've got uh, the eyeballs here, right? So I've got an eyeball and maybe I've got uh, the goofy mouth here, right? So this is overlapping on the eye. So as you come to these objects here, uh, you can see you can flip them. Uh, here if you click, you can change them. So we might want to scale this so we can just bring the numbers down here. You can see I can scale it. I can rotate this, right? So maybe I want to even it out a little bit more. And then I can move them on the X, Y axis. And you can see I can move those up or down. And then I can create um, whatever I want to with the emojis. Maybe I want the eyes to be really big and a little off uh, the side of the head. So let's just go ahead and do that on one of the eyes. So the same thing. I'm going to scale this up. Maybe a really, really large eye here. And then I'm going to move this over here so you can see um, how that works. And you know, you can create a sense of um, perspective too, right? If I take the eye here and I move this, oops, move this over here. Let's move this a little on on here. If we move the mouth over here, um, we'll move the mouth over a little bit, right? Let's drop it down. And then I can put a nose here. Let me make this eyeball a little bit smaller so it's not quite as goofy. So that looks more like I'm turning my head, right? Or not my head, but the emoji is turning its head. And let's say we add a nose on here. I thought I saw a nose. Okay, so this is kind of a a big nose, um, but let's flip that over here. And now you can see um, you get a little bit more perspective on it, right? And then we probably make this eye a little bit smaller to kind of because it would scale, right? And so now you've got something where it looks like the head is tilted a little bit. So a lot of creative things you can do. The main thing is you've got this ability to create an emoji. Um, you can import your own images if you want to. Whatever you build, you can go ahead and hit save and you're all done. If you want to clear things, just hit clear and then you have a good fresh starting point. Hopefully you can use those. It's kind of a fun tool uh, and easy to use.